Hi and welcome back to Finders Be Persistent Seekers on the one that you wanted me to review and I know why because you're ready to tell me off and kill me and I almost killed myself to be fair but yes we're in France and we are at the place that I almost did come to an end it was bad it was really bad and I know what you're all gonna say about it but we'll come to that in a little bit look at this it looks like a hand grenade it's an, an oil, does it go that way up? Like that looks like the top, but then, oh, would that screw into something? Yeah, it's like a hand grenade. Like that, look. That's really good. So one of the things that I found was a light cover. It was like a, it looked like a light cover, but in my head, it looked very much like a hand grenade. Now, obviously, I am not stupid enough to think that hand grenades are made of glass. Like, if you think that I think that, then you have a very low opinion of me. <laughs> I know it wasn't a hand grenade, and some people were like, Matt, you silly boy, it's not a hand grenade, it's a like, I know, I'm not stupid. I might be a bit stupid, but I'm not that stupid. And it had got the fittings on the top as well for like like a lamp, like a the top of a lamp and you screw it in and in position. But so many people were like, it's not, it's not a hand grenade. I know this, I know. <laughs> but it looked like one. I don't care okay, what you say, it looked like one. Now, as part of the bit where I was trying to get out from the fall, before we talk about the fall itself, there was a noise. I think it was around about 17 minutes, 45 seconds into the video. And people are like, there's a woman screaming. There's a woman that's screaming. It was an owl. If you listen to it, it's definitely an owl. And there was loads of owls around there. Uh, you could hear them all around the place. When I was stood outside, I was listening to him. But yeah, definitely, definitely, 100%, without a doubt, it was an owl. Right, we're here. Now this place is really well known in France as one of the worst murder scenes anywhere in the country. And you can, it feels like it feels like it. Now this place is the scene of not a single murder, not a double murder, but a triple murder. Now the father figure of the house, he wasn't actually the father, he was the stepfather to the children, but married the mother. One day he just went crazy and killed the mother and the two girls and hung them from one of the rooms upstairs. And I'm freaking out because you just, it's, it's an old spooky house and it, it just sits right with everything like that. Like if you think of a horror film of a place like this, this would be it. This is like film worthy from the outside, it's spooky. Now the story to this place is quite intriguing anyway with the, the multiple murders, it's, it's quite gruesome. And loads of people were like, oh, this is definitely a dairy farm or this is definitely this. It may have had different uses. It literally shows it on the map as la boucherie, which is the butchers. And it had got a long history of being a butchers. The guy that did the killing was a butcher and I think it went right back to like the 16 or 1700s there'd been a butchery or la boucherie is it la boucherie yeah a butcher's anyway on that same spot so it may have been other things at other times but 100% that's what it was originally now I know a lot of people's minds have been taken off the actual story of the place because of what happened to me but from what I remember, and it is a while ago since I did the research and I got told everything about it and what it says in the records, the guy had found his wife had been having a bit with the local priest um, and he had ultimately killed his kids, his 
wife and then himself i think i think he killed himself i seem to remember him killing himself but he hung them in separate rooms that's one of the things that stood out to me and that's why i was in a position where i fell through because i was looking for the place where they could have been hung from now i think certain bits have been changed in there because some of the wood didn't look as old um it may have been taken down for that reason like if something bad had happened they might have replaced it i'm not 100 percent sure a lot of times people just knock buildings down because something terrible has happened in there. I think um, like with Fred and Rose West, is it Cromwell Street? I want to say 25. Cro if I've got that right, that's a brilliant memory. 25 Cromwell Street. Um, I think they, they flattened that place for that reason. Like because such bad things had happened there, they just knocked it down. And I'm so glad they didn't with this place because it's a wonderful building. Like the gates to get in there were fantastic. Like the big pointy spike. And I'll tell you now, they were a bastard. They were like blades. They were like actual blades on sticks. They weren't just like ornamental pointy things. They were so sharp because even on the way in, when I climbed over the fence and I had to stand when that car stopped and I stood still for a minute and like, stood in a certain position as i climbed over i was hurting myself on them it was like i was going to literally cut my hands so then when i had to get back out of the place oh my lord i screamed going over that fence and i'll talk more about that as well in a minute or maybe downstairs because i actually don't know if it was upstairs or downstairs like i said not many details but it seems like the big beams would be these ones I know there's a big beam there, but I don't know. Oh my God. I stood on that then and something fell down below us. Don't know what to do for the best. I might be able to get in further down. I wanted to try and look down there, but I might be better going down from the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Anyway, let's keep going. So, the fall. And the fall is something that everybody has talked about and literally most comments are about. I've been struggling to find other bits to talk about and put your comments in because every comment is about me falling. So I want to sort of explain it a little bit because for a start, it sounds... I don't, I don't understand how I ended up in the position I was. I don't understand a lot about it. So, we'll start off with where I was. So, I was on the right-hand side of the of the building, right up against the wall, going and looking up. And if you remember, I said, something down the lines of, oh, God, the floor's moving a little bit. I better move back. Let's move out of here. So, I turned around to go back out. Now, as I turn back out, the wall is on my left-hand side. There's a big, long, wooden beam on the floor... And then there's the bit that I fell through. I don't understand because something happened. Something weird happened in the first place. So when I'm just talking away, I sort of fell, but I fell. And I moved. So oh, I've got nothing to show you. Wait a minute. Let me try and show you on here. On this HM Revenue, Revenue and Customers. Customers. HM Revenue and Customs Corporation tax. I'm going to shut up. Um, right, let me try and show you on here. Let's do a little diagram and try and show you. So we've got the door. That's the door to get out there. So we'll make it like a little... Uh, this is the wall. Then just in front of that, there was a wooden beam on the floor there. And I... So let's show you there. We've got the wooden beam... We've got the door and we've got the wall. Somehow, I walked down here. It started going a bit weird, so I turned around and walked back. Now, when I got to about maybe here, something happened where I stumbled or I fell or something. I don't remember how I did it. I don't feel like I tripped. I just felt like suddenly I was falling, and I don't really understand that. But then... I got all of my body. The next shot, I have got both of my feet at the other side of that. 
Bloody hell. Both my feet at the other side of that wood. I don't know how I did that without jumping. Like, if I was stumbling, I could understand putting one foot at the other side of it. But both of my feet were suddenly on the other side of there. Keep going. I then leaned forward because I dropped the, the phone, the camera, there. And I leaned forward to go and pick that up. And I place the torch down almost like as I'm doing it because I'm, I start to fall. But then, right, we'll move away from this diagram. Then I'm falling forwards, right? How, how the hell, if I was falling, my feet were going down, my head was leaning forwards, did I end up on my back? On my back laid... Let me show you where my body was. So when I fell, my head, so this is this is that beam there. My head was here and my legs were here. So I was I was the opposite way around. But how? How did I get in that position? I went from leaning forward this way to laying back this way. <laughs> sort of doesn't make sense and I also landed on my right hand side because that's where I landed on my hip just to let you know as well I I do feel pretty much healed now I'm not in any pain anymore it's stiff still it still doesn't feel like I can move quite as well as I could I do feel like I may have cracked or chipped my pelvis I, I'm, I've not been to the hospital because it's me you should know this by now um so I don't know for definite, I might not have, I might have just badly bruised it, but it was bad, it was really bad. But I just don't understand how I got in that position. I really, really don't. No, 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 no. Don't you dare fall. Don't you dare fall. No, 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 no. <sighs> Piece of wood. No, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuckity fuck. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. But I've got to get across. Fuck. Fuck the shorts coming down. I'm not bothered about that dying. Oh god, I don't get back across here. I think I broke my fingers. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Thank you for that. 
Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So the next thing you see is the dust rising. You hear the noise. Obviously, when I fall, you hear the noise, and it sounds like I've fallen for about 25 miles. I'm like... Uh... <laughs> it's like a cartoon. It's like... <laughs> it's like, imagine someone falling forever and ever, and you hear all the floor go. But in actual fact, I'd only fallen to the other side of that beam, and you can see my legs sticking up after a little bit. And I was laid flat on my back on a on a plank. There was a hole at one side of me and a hole at the other side of me. So it was this one like plank of wood that was holding me up. And as I was laid there, more and more bricks, dirt and dust were falling down from underneath it. So I knew I needed to get off that pretty quick because the whole lot was going to go down. Underneath me as well, afterwards, when we were looking at it, there was a big metal spike sticking up. So I would have probably been like a big mat skewer, like a mat kebab. <laughs> like, uh, big thing coming out about that didn't look great, did it? Um, but it could have been horrendously bad. It, I was really lucky, like ridiculously lucky. Like, I really hurt and I was really felt sick. I, like the pain was so bad. I felt like I was going to be physically sick. But in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that bad. And I know we're going to have all the people, you need to go with someone else. I, it, even if somebody else had been there, I would have still done the same thing. Yes, they may have been. Oh, they, in fact, they wouldn't have been able to ring the police, uh, the ambulance, because there was no signal there. They could have gone to a local house and raised the alarm. Yeah, I get that. But if it's that serious that... I can't get myself out of it. It's pretty much going to be the infect anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It makes no difference. I'm not going with anyone else. If it's your time, it's your time. That's my opinion. That's the way I think about things. And it won't, I won't change it. And um, so anyway, I dragged myself up and that was so painful in itself. But I was doing it in a point like where I couldn't put too much pressure anywhere. Because if I did, I felt like the floor was going to fall down. So at one point, I was like on my hands thinking, if this board goes, I'm going head first straight down here. It was horrible. That was the worst bit. The pain wasn't as bad. It was the worry of dropping once I'd fallen. That was the worst bit about it. But it made for good viewing. And the camera couldn't have landed in a better spot than the light. Literally, if it had landed face down, I would have been devastated. But it was so, so good. <laughs> How it landed, it really was. Okay, I'm not dead. Not yet. It takes a lot more than that to kill Matt. It's a, a stupid, stupid thing on my part. And I am usually quite safe. And the thing is, I'd actually gone in there once and said, I'm not going on there. I'm not going to go and have a look. But obviously because of the whole murder thing and it confused me i just wanted to have a quick look i didn't even go in very far <clears throat> oh fuck. that is so bad so a lot of you seem to be quite impressed um that i'd managed to carry on filming after i'd done it and i was actually filming for over an hour after this happened every step was painful and i swear it was getting worse and worse the pain was actually wor a lot worse the next day. Um, I think climbing over that fence was the the pinnacle of pain. I really do because of the position I had to get myself in. But yeah, I carried on filming for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes after I'd done it. Because I thought, I'm not coming to this place all these miles away. That's a good location. And then... Something like that happens and it ruins it all. And I just have to show you like a small clip in another video or something. I thought, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to show you because at the end of the day, I'm not dead. So if I'm not dead, then, and it's not life threatening, I'm not going to die by staying here. Why not just carry on filming? That's just how my man mentality is. I would much rather finish the job, get it done and make sure that it's done. 
Um, yeah, so I'm pleased with myself and you guys seem to be very pleased with me as well. Right, I'm back to the bridge. Now, we have a couple of problems. One, can't go around the bridge because of that. And, oh, Lord. Lordy, lordy, lordy. And, because of that. Next problem. Oh, fuck. I can't get on the wall where it's low and easy to get on because of this in the way and I can't stretch properly. But luckily, I have noticed there is one of these things broken off at this end. Now these, I am not lying, they are so sharp. They are like daggers. When I climbed over origin originally, I climbed over at this side and I used that to pull myself over, but they are so sharp, so, so sharp. So anyway, I'm now gonna try my hardest to lift my leg high enough to get on there, at least to sit onto that, that and then get over. Oh, oh God, oh fuck. That is the most painful thing I've ever done, I think. Oh, I want to be sick, it fucking hurts that much. Oh Lord, Jesus Christ, man. And then getting out of there. Getting out of there was the probably the most painful thing I've done on the channel. Like the falling killed, trapping my finger, like when I trapped my finger in the manhole cover in Manchester, that was horrible pain because my fingers were cold anyway and it got squashed. Uh, breaking ribs, breaking ribs is, is very close to be fair, very, very close to the most painful thing. Also, thank you Cheryl Hanlon for um, for becoming a Patreon. Very much appreciated, it's just come through on here. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the reason, like, the pain was so bad because of climbing over that fence. But like I said, breaking my ribs that time, that was pretty bad. I just got a big chunk of, I'm, I've just been scranning strawberries and one just appeared. <laughs> oh, 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 I was talking away and there's a strawberry there. But um, yeah, uh, breaking my ribs was really, really bad and probably well up there. But Getting over that fence, I've never screamed. I've never screamed in doing anything. And I've broke my back, I've broke my fingers, I've broke my thumb, I've fractured my skull. I probably did scream then because I was six months old. Um, I've broken multiple, multiple bones all over my body. I've been hooked by my skin on a spike six foot in the air. So it was like sticking into my scalp. I've had some terrible injuries. But... Like, I've never screamed, and I screamed getting over that fence. If there was anybody about, they must have thought someone was getting murdered. Because what I had to do was, there was a very small gap, and I'll put a photograph of the fence in. There was a sm very small gap at one end where there was a bit missing. So what I had to do was get up onto the wall, which was painful, and then slide along the wall and fit through this gap. Now, it wasn't big enough for my arse, so... It was there's not, the Grand Canyon's not big enough for my arse. Uh, so this spike was scraping against my arse as I was going through. But the pain of my hip was just making that not... I'd got cuts on my bum afterwards. Um, and I wasn't even bothered. I didn't even care. Because that hurt so much. So, so much. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I know, like I said in the comments, people, like some people are like, oh, I'm going to have to unsubscribe because I can't watch you putting yourself in danger. Some people are like, I had to stop watching. Like, it doesn't make a difference. If you stop watching, I'm not going to suddenly be okay again. <laughs> you may as well just watch it now you've started. Bloody hell. Um, but I understand why people worry. I get it. I do get it. And I know you care. And it does bother me. Like, I, I have been trying to be more careful now Andy's not about. I promise you I have been more safe. That, the things that I used to do when Andy was about, you wouldn't even believe. And half of it never got put on camera as well. 
So, yeah, I am being good, but things happen. That was, I felt like I was in a relatively safe place and that happened. So if I'm in a safe place and that happens, anything can happen when I'm being dodgy. <laughs> so I will look after myself, but don't tell me off too much. Maybe a little bit, just to keep my mind there, but not loads. Anyway, love you all. See you later. Goodbye.